We're about to experience the wonder and excitement that is Lucky Mud. Exactly. Mike and Maggie are a husband and wife duo who have been singing for years. If I actually tell you how long, I'll be in trouble. They spent about seven years in Nashville. They were under the spell of the Nashville dream, the Nashville illusion. And all of a sudden, they said, no, we're going back to our roots. Thank heavens they came home to Florida and started writing the kinds of things that they do. Um, words have a great power. And a simple melody enhances those words. And that's what you get when you listen to mud music i.e. lucky mud music. It's about the story that they tell you. It's about what's in their hearts and what's on their minds. Now, uh, they've played literally everywhere. And I mean everywhere. That makes us sound so Ireland, old. Uh, <laughs> in County Mayo and Connemara, uh, the English Channel, all over the United States, even Texas. And uh, we are really blessed to have them here with us this morning. Yeah, I think that's good. And I think that, you know, having to set up all of this stuff is absolutely amazing. Please give a hand to Jim and Carolyn Dunn for the great job they're doing on sound. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And in the far corner, Jim Dunn. Well, they call this swamp music, mud music, and they can tell you about it better than I can. Ladies and gentlemen, Maggie and Mike McKinney. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. You, you just don't have a clue how happy we are to be here. <laughs> Anywhere. I mean, really happy to be here. And to be vertical. All of our trees are horizontal, but we're still vertical. So. We, uh, and I just want to say this before we get started. We have been, our, uh, we personally, but our community has been the beneficiary of uh, so much love and so much support and so much help. I can't even tell you how many people came to help us, how all of these people, all of you guys uh, donated, pitched in, and sent all of the positive love and all of the stuff we needed to make it through. Um, Come on, you can say it. The, Fl the Florida folk music community donated so much, and all of it was used in the rural areas back there that was hit so hard. And um, don't forget us. We have on. We're we're good. <laughs> we're really good. We're lucky. But uh, there's a lot of people in our community who are not. And um, don't forget them. I wrote this song. My sister was in, on, my sister was in Cutler Ridge when Andrew came through. So I wrote this for her. And then after Katrina, they started playing it on the radio station in New Orleans. And now it's ours. <laughs> it's a song called Cold Black Water. Look at all the fine things you call your own it Took you a lifetime to gather it all Now it's out rotten in the hot, hot sun Where you gonna go when the waters come? Just the way you want it, and you know it's good. A house and a family in a neighborhood. One minute you're thinking just how sweet life can be. Next you're begging for mercy on a stormy sea. It'll wash over money, it'll drown the poor. Cold black water coming through the door 
No place to hide and no place to run Where you gonna go when the waters come? So you can have the silver, you can take all the gold Don't want nothing bigger than my heart can hold Something light as a feather from a snow white dove Something to cling to when the waters come It'll wash over money and it'll drown the poor Cold black water coming through the door No place to hide and no place to run Where you gonna go when the waters come Where you gonna go when the waters come Thank you It was, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a native. I've been here for 71 years, um, and I've never seen anything like what we saw. So it's pretty amazing. We um, and I will say, Mexico Beach um, got a lot of press, and, and they believe me, they deserve it. It was pretty flat. I mean, it's flat. There's pretty much nothing there. But most of those, not all of them, but most of them were vacation homes, and they were second homes for people or third homes. Parker and Callaway and Millville and the poor sections of our community were devastated. I mean, devastated. I, you, can't, you can't even imagine driving through those areas. And uh, the fact that people are still living in tents there are still 10,000 houses that cannot accept electricity because they've not, they're not repaired enough. They can't, the weather heads are pulled out. 81% um, of all of our trees were damaged or destroyed. Has um, anyone seen the picture on Facebook of a giant mound of debris? And somebody put a sign on there that said, free house, some assembly required. <laughs> That's where we are right now. But I will say, I, you know, there's, there's so many um, bright spots, there really are. We, we are lucky, we, we've really, we met someone in Tent City, we were feeding people, we were down there feeding like 150 people and they were gonna kick them out and we happened to meet this guy who was a builder, not contractor or to code, and he, I told him you have a place to live in our yard. He wound up building us, he built our, rebuilt our roof, our porch, built a building for us to put our audience under. So out of all of the, the bad things, there are really good things. Communities pulled together, small churches. Um, it's, just been, it's just been really sweet in so many ways. Um, I can't even tell you. But I, but I will say, um, this community has just really, they, they dug down deep, all of you guys, all of you, you know who you are, dug down deep and really made a huge difference in our community and there's there just are no words there are no words we <laughs> met, we... okay so we're going to try not to be too modeling we try to do a couple of songs before <laughs> our 30 minutes is up. <laughs> this song i actually wrote um quite a while before this hit us we call it all hell broke loose before all hell broke loose at our place uh, we live in an old cracker shack. It was built back in the 1880s, as close as we can gather. And it's not in great shape, and it's, it's you But it know, wasn't in great shape before the storm. Bad tin and bad, yeah, you know. But we have a theory, by the way, that we had so much crap in our house that it couldn't fall over. That's why it's still up. So remember that. You get a clean house, you're going to pay for yeah. it. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, this, is, this is my song about, it's, it's a metaphor for us and, and our house. And I will tell you, that cracker shack was built out of heart pine, and it stood up to 168-mile winds, 208-mile gusts. I got to say, I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that all the big trees are gone, we can paint it. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
This house has seen it all. This house will never fall. It holds our love. It holds. Okay. We have was, one I, more modeling song. Is that okay? It, a week before Christmas, Maggie and I went to our little studio and, and cut probably the most depressing Christmas album that's ever been done. <laughs> hey, songs I wrote like uh, "It's a Bloody Merry Christmas" and uh, <laughs> and uh, songs like that, and we put in 
the city sidewalks, busy sidewalks. We committed in a couple of things because it, we were going to give it to our friends with an MRE with a bow on it. That was the, the plan. But it, we wound up just handing out the CDs. By the way, MREs are not that bad. Nope. <laughs> when I, I was in, we called them meals refused by the enemy. But they, they weren't as bad as I thought. As I remembered. But when you're hungry, it's pretty doggone good to be able to eat, eat a hot meal. So, so we titled the CD Christmas from the Ruins. And I had written this song called Christmas in the Ruins, which is what the CD was supposed to be, but I misspelled. Anyhow. I promise we will get to happy things in a minute, but this was, this was what I wrote about a month after the storm. Christmas in the Ruins How will Santa find us? These blue tarps all look the same All the chimneys tumbled down Will there still be Christmas cheer? Or is all of that behind us? Christmas in the ruins Only darkness in this town No strings of lights Just broken trees Sleeping bags where beds should be Daddy builds a fire Mama heats the stew Brought to us by strangers Smiling sadly in the cold There is no baby Jesus Lying in the manger Only bottled water just the smell of mold No strings of lights, just broken trees Sleeping bags for bed should be Christmas in the ruins How will Santa find us? These blue tarps all look the same Stretched between the trees here and there a Christmas wreath Hanging to remind us that life, life goes, goes on, on without, without us And Santa's, Santa's on his way You better watch out You better not cry Thanks. Thank you. We are lucky, Mud, and we've proven it. And, and uh, Lucky Mud is from a Kurt Vonnegut book called Cat's Cradle, where he said in the beginning, God made mud, and some of the mud was Lucky Mud, and it got to get up and look around at all the other mud. So we, we felt like the luckiest mud. And so I wrote this song a while back called Feeling Lucky. It's, one, it's easy to feel lucky when everything's going right, but it's a totally different thing to feel lucky when it's all gone bad. Woke up this morning, rain pouring down Slept in my car on the wrong side of town The gas tank's on empty, my job's on the line Boss man said this is my last time But I'm feeling lucky I'm feeling lucky Clock on the dash said quarter past eight. Boss said, Don't come to work if you're gonna be late. So I drove to the store, I gave you a call, spent 20 bucks on the Powerball. Cause I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Kissed me last night, you whispered my name You held me so tight, said I was your man So I'm feeling lucky I'm feeling lucky Twenty to one horse, I bet it all I feel so good 
worries at all. And I'm gonna win that Powerball. Cause I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. La 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 la. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Thank you. That, that la da da part used to be a whistle, but more than once I would go. So I abandoned it. I call I call Brian every time you can come up and whistle the part for me. Let's do let's do Bucky's song. Hmm? Let's do Bucky's song. Next. Bucky's song. Yeah. Okay. Um, we live up around the Apalachicola River. Uh, I wish all you guys could come up. We are actually part of Hip Camp now, which is like an Airbnb for campers. And so you can go through Hip Camp and, and stay on our property for like 15 bucks a night or something like that. And, 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 uh, but we've got a stage. We've got a big thing called the Mud Hut that seats about 50 people under, under, in front of the stage. So there's places to be out of the weather. And, Come up with chainsaws. <laughs> yeah, chainsaws. We like chainsaws. Friends with chainsaws. We can get the gas. <laughs> you know, there are some interesting things. One of the things is that um, for some reason, they were charging us 30 cents, gallon, uh, 30 cents a gallon more in our area after the storm than anywhere else in the state. And it's like, wait a minute, what happened to they the price are, gouging the thing? You know, that... There are weird things happening. Uh, insurance companies lowballing everybody and really giving them a hard time about uh, paying for their damages. We've actually had 13% of our student population has left Bay County and they're not coming back. Yep. And uh, schools are closing and, you know, um, Did you but ever really read... good things are happening. <laughs> Did you ever I mean, read The Rhyme really... of the Ancient Mariner? Did you ever do that in school? And the guy with the albatross around his neck had only one story, and he told everybody, that's kind of what we're doing. This, this we have better stories. We really <laughs> do. <laughs> we have that albatross, and we're trying to shake it loose. So if we've told you this before, just tell us to shut up. Otherwise, we'll try to get on with it. Bunky oh, Bunky song. So, so here, here's another thing, our too. Our friend Bunky Jones lives on the, was born and raised on the, Chipotle River, I mean, on the Appalachicola River, and it's a beautiful river. I will say one more thing. Well, one thing about this their waterways up there are completely stopped up with trees and limbs and all kinds of stuff. We have a creek. We're near Econfina Creek, and it has turned into a massive swamp because there's just, I mean, it can't, it can't flow. It's hard so, to imagine hundreds of thousands of downed trees, but that's what we have. And every one of the downed trees was sucking 200 gallons of water a day, which now is backing up. And so, right. So there are things you don't think about if you need you know, water, until we've got it happens, and then you're like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe this is why my little guitar never leaves home. <laughs> Bright stars float on still black water Heat like a panther rises slow When like a snake slithers on the river It rattles the front Frog shouts out as the rising Spills a pool of milk white light The gator growls back from the muddy banks And the Appalachian polar comes alive at night Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. My boat floats like a leaf on the wall Lying on my back Looking at the sky The woodhull creaks like saddle leather the Sweat trickles down And burns my eyes Somebody somewhere is causing trouble Big city, here's the siren. 
But on the Appalachian pole of the night birds singing And the Milky Way looks like a comet's tail There's a faraway rumble of a shrimp boat working Then the distant whistle of a factory Dawn starts erasing all the stars from the heavens And the Appalachian Cola is calling me Stay, she says, in a lover's whisper Drift a little longer on my gentle Stay with me and none will harm you. Linger here with me, the river said. Linger here with me, the river said. Have a, um, by the way, we do have Thank a yodeling so workshop tomorrow at 12.30 at Workshop One. Yodeling so, is our way of spreading chaos and terror through the world. We right. teach people to yodel and yeah. whole communities fall apart after that. Take me with you or huh? Okay. We write set lists just because we're frivolous. We don't, we don't I'm, follow. I'm going to do a sing-along song. Um, it's very simple, really, very simple. <laughs> All my music is simple, like me. Um, it's just a feel-good song, and uh, now that we've depressed you so much, I feel like I, I, I'm obligated to kind of, yes, I'm going to cheer you up. So this is going to be our last song. Um, and thanks, everybody, for um, being here. Thanks for coming and uh, being our family. Um, you just can't know what it means. You just can't know what it means. And wherever you see uh, problems like in Opelika, they've got the, the tornadoes went through. And, and even Puerto Rico. You know, Puerto Rico, those, those people are still suffering. There's just there's pain all over the world. And I think it's, you know, it's incumbent upon all of us who are okay, who, who are doing all right, to see if we can help out in some way. So anyway, this is my song. This is a good song. This is a feeling good song. It's a pop quiz. In the morning when I wake up, I walk along for hours. And I sing to the trees and I sing to the flowers. Feel the warmth of the sunshine as it rests upon my shoulder. And I'm living each moment as I am getting older. This is a sing along part, it's very easy. La -da 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 Makes you feel good. La -da 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 See the birds on the wing as I walk along the upon your shoulder and no matter your age you will never feel any older ready you 
already know the words. La, 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you all. Wow. Lucky Mud. They're going to be on the main stage tomorrow evening at 6.30. So be sure and catch them. And if you look at your program, I think they're also doing a workshop. Is that right, Maggie? A yodeling workshop. So check out the workshops.